Hello friends. Today I am going to showcase uh, the value of the right kind of programming or the uses of the right kind of tools which any language may provide. So in this specific video I am going to showcase that how uh, by using a specific kind of library you can save uh, lots of uh, resources, your hardware resources on the CPU end as well as on the memory end. So in this case you can see that uh, 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 in my script, in my this PHP script, I have this small test and you can see that uh, uh, I uh, in, in the first line or first three four line you can see that uh, I'm printing the memory uh, limit of my existing machine and on this specific uh, instance of my machine I have enabled uh, about uh, 512 megabyte uh, of memory uh, for my this specific script by the way I don't think any script should be having such kind of memory uses especially in a web environment uh, but just for the test purpose I am using such a big amount of memory in this one so as you can see on the line number six that uh, uh, I am creating a string although okay I am calling it a string but it's a kind of uh, associated array and then there is this variable uh, named limit and in the uh, for each on the line number 23 to 26 you can see that i am just uh, adding values the same values although at the different index that means that i'll be uh, consuming the memory of the system because index will be different so uh, there you can see that uh, uh, this much of the limit uh, is the one so let me just try to run so this is my first version that uh, i have created an array and then i just made make sure that uh, uh, limit variable is of integral type and then this for each is there so let me just run this script okay so you can see that script execution was finished without any error so if i increase uh, just one in the limit in that case my allowed memory size uh, is just exhausted and a script uh, end with the, a fatal error okay so I'm going to bring it back to in a working condition so now it is working it. So you can see that uh, even just by increasing one additional element, uh, this script is failing. And this was happening as I was using just the normal array function of the PHP. So let me just uh, comment this first version and okay. So in this case, you can see that uh, instead of creating array from the normal array function, I have used a, uh, a specific library which uh, PHP provide SPL fixed array and limit. So the major difference between the first version and the second version is that we are using a very specific uh, library which allow us to create an array with a specific limit. Uh, okay, so initially what I'll do that I'll keep this limit command intact and let me try to run it. Yeah, it is working as it should have been. Okay, so here is the game. Now, I'm increasing the limit variable by 3.98, almost four times. And you see, a script is still running. So just by using a different kind of approach, 
I was able to store almost four times of the values in the same array. Data structures are very important part of programming. You need to understand, you need to know which data structure is good for your application, which kind of operation you want to do on uh, your data points. In this specific case, we have seen that by using a very specific library, we have increased our memory uses by four times which is huge, uh, practically meaning uh, that uh, this uh, script, original script can run fine with even 128 MB memory. So whenever you are doing such kind of operation, please keep that in mind. Thank you.